Welcome to Desnia and today we're going to be covering the release of Northcraft. So I'll be putting out the most vital information up front. Uh, it is a Wrath of the Lich King progressive server which is going to be hosted in France and it's going to be scripted times one. And the development team is doing their best to make it uh, as bliss like as possible and uh, at this moment all we know is that it's going to be released at the summer of 2017 preferably the 4th of August. Now they've stated that at launch uh, most of the dungeons and heroics if not all will be released so that's quite a good thing. Uh, the arena seasons will be postponed for two weeks they will be delayed for two weeks also the first couple of raids and if we go to their information on the website then there is a timeline if we scroll over it there we go the timeline is oh, I guess everything's released when it comes to dungeons at, at, at the release uh, uh, the raids will be next Ramas, obsidian sanctum the vault of archivon and the eye of eternity they will be released two weeks uh, after the launch as well as the arena season 5 which is also going to be delayed for two weeks now as you can see the page says it all the secrets of all the war the call of the crusade onyxia's lair the fall of the lich king defending the ruby and sanctum they have not been confirmed yet the dates have not been put up yet so we don't know anything at this point of when they will be releasing it my guess is they will have a, a close look at the community and they will see how far these guys uh, are progressing up and if they see some guilds progressing really far then perhaps they will sort of hasten the process on some of the releases now i do have some concerns about the uh, server being hosted in france uh, you see i've overheard this interview with one of the lead developers in which he's referring to france as being uh, the main hub for european private servers now we all know that Nostorius, yes I'm pointing at Nostorius for this matter, was also hosted from France. They first had a project that was hosted in North America, it got taken down. Then they moved to France with their server hosting and eventually uh, it lasted a year, maybe a little bit less and then they got taken down as well. So I have some concerns that if this is half as good a private server as we all hope it out to be, um, that they might get a cease and desist letter because they can push legislation within the Western European Union. Now there is the option of going instantly to level 68, which I think is a pretty good thing. They have pointed out that they will not be putting uh, all the effort into the starting zones, the vanilla and TBC zones. They are making them work as, as, as good as possible. Uh, I don't know what core they are using, but they have stated that they are solely um, I'm, I'm putting all their effort into making the Wrath of the Lich King content fun and challenging and that the starting zones will be required to uh, level through and, and, and go for your professions because there will not be a boost on the professions but uh, um, yeah it won't be that much scripted as Northern will be quite obviously uh, so I've pointed out that they will be focusing on challenging content as well so I, I hope to see that uh, when it comes to faction and the uh, imbalance that might occur because we all know that uh, PvPers rather go for Horde because of the racials they have stated that they will be offering a free balance faction change uh, in order to balance things out if for some reason they uh, turn out to be uh, a big problem uh, the server will be developing a uh, quite strong anti-cheat system they are talking about it as we speak uh, the, the one of the lead developers did point out that the, the best anti-cheat system is still the community because they can see all this irregular behavior that's taking place on these servers uh, they have also stated that they have a good ddos protection so uh, i guess uh, at launch we shouldn't be expecting too much trouble from uh, other servers trying to take them down as some of these people have stated out there some private servers when they feel uh, you know like uh, when, when they feel uh, a concurrent coming up on the market a competitor they uh, they have been accused of trying to DDoS some of these new servers so I guess we should have a, a quite a smooth transaction at the launch uh, what does this mean for me? Will I be covering Northcraft? Yeah, I definitely will. I will be rolling a character there 
starting at 68, trying out some content over there. And of course, I will be following with some videos eventually that you guys can uh, see. And of course, leave some comments on. Now, let me know what you guys think about this new project, uh, which is going to be released on the 4th of August, of course, as I stated before. Um, are you hyped for it? Are you into Wrath the Lich King? Me, myself, I am more of a vanilla slash TBC player. So... Um, I will be checking it out, of course, simply because I do think some of the content from Wrath the Lich King was really well, really well done. Uh, so let me think what you, uh, let me know what you think, guys. I'm really uh, anxious to know what you guys think about it. See you in the next vid.